Welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. Today I wanted to talk about how to set up uh, a connection between your PC and your ICOM IC7300 uh, so that you can use uh, remote rig control software uh, such as ICOM RSBA1, uh, Ham Radio Deluxe, uh, N1MM, and uh, the list goes on. There are other various applications that uh, are capable of talking to and uh, controlling your ICOM IC7300. The first thing that you're going to want to do before you connect any cabling uh, is you're going to want to get the uh, ICOM uh, USB driver for the IC7300. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, type in IC-7300 USB driver. The current version of this driver is 1.20 and uh, you'll just want to make sure that you're getting it from uh, an ICOM website, in this case uh, ICOM.co.jp. Um, by the time you're viewing this video, uh, there may be a newer version out of this software, and if so, just to make sure that you're getting the latest one. So once you're on the ICOM uh, web page for uh, USB driver version 1.2, just make sure that uh, for download type, it's USB driver, version, whatever the latest version is, and uh, under model name that the IC7300 is included. If that all matches up, scroll to the bottom, click on Agree, and you'll see the file download. Uh, depending on uh, what browser you're using, this uh, may pop up in different ways. I'm using Chrome, so it pops up in the uh, status bar at the bottom. So to uh, get into this file, you can either click here or uh, you could go through your file explorer. I'll just go ahead and click. And uh, we're in the, uh, the zip file right now. We can go ahead and click Extract All Files. And that location looks fine, so I'll click Extract. Okay. So I can move up to the Downloads directory. And then I'll see that I have a file folder with the same name as my zip file. So we'll drill, we'll, uh, drill down into that several levels. And then uh, once you're into the uh, directory that has the x86 folder and the x64 folder and uh, the installers, uh, you'll need to know uh, what version of Windows you're using as to whether it's x86 or x64. I'm using the 64-bit uh, version of Windows 7 so in this case, I'll go ahead and uh, double-click on the X64 installer. If you get the user account control prompt, press yes. You should see the uh, CP210X USB to UART bridge driver installer pop up. On this uh, window, you can click next. Then you'll have to uh, accept the agreement. Uh, if you want to, you can read the agreement. Uh, most people don't, though. I'll go ahead and click next here and we can see that the drivers were successfully installed. So, what we can do at this point is uh, we can plug our IC7300 into the PC. And when we do this, uh, there's a good chance that it'll try to install the drivers uh, from uh, Windows Download, which mm -hmm. is fine. Um, I have checked and it appears to currently be the same driver either way. Uh, I will show you how to uh, change the driver if it's not the correct one. So now that we see that uh, it's been downloaded and it's ready to use, if we go to... Now, I'm just going to hit Windows R here and go straight to Device Manager. It's uh, devmgmt.msc will take you straight to the Device Manager. And if I scroll down, we'll see that uh, here it's showing that uh, we do have that driver installed on COM3. If there's an issue, if it shows up as uh, an unknown device or uh, something along those lines, you can right-click, update driver software. We can tell, uh, tell it to uh, browse the computer. And uh, that is the correct location there. Uh, if you need to search for it, you can press browse and uh, find where you extracted it to. So we'll hit next here. And I can see that uh, the best driver 
for our device is already installed. So that's great there. Let's run through this one more time and we'll look at a different way to do it. So we can tell the, the, the computer that we want to uh, pick from a list of device drivers. And if show hardware compatible hardware is checked, then we'll see that we have two choices here. We can tell it we have disk. And then we'll need to browse to the location. where we have extracted those files. The uh, driver folder will be suitable. We can click open and tell it OK. And we can see here that we have uh, that same driver listed. We can click next and it will force the install of the uh, driver that we downloaded from ICOM just to make sure that we have the, uh, the correct file installed. This is going to take just a moment to do. And we can see that the uh, driver has been updated. And then we can close. And that pretty much concludes the install of the USB driver. Now from here, um, you would go through the install process for whichever application you wanted to use to control the radio, whether that happens to be ICOM's RSBA1 or Ham Radio Deluxe or N1MM or any of the other variety of applications that are uh, capable of uh, controlling the uh, ICOM IC7300. I'll have some videos on that in the future, uh, trying to break it up so that uh, if you're specifically looking for information about Ham Radio Deluxe or N1MM or RSBA1, that, uh, that you don't have to watch a whole bunch of information about a product that you're not using. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the uh, comment section down below. And uh, I hope that this video has been informative for you. And uh, I also hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching.